Welcome back to the unnamed Blown Diesel Project. <laughs> Guys, after that last video, holy, the views skyrocketed. So I'm going to go ahead and assume you guys are into this. So, if this is the first time you're joining us, what we have here is a 7.3 IDI, the international model, right? And an 871 blower. That's right, it's happening. We're putting these two together. So, this is a little bit of a side tangent there from our usual content, but you know what? What's usual for us? Out of the ordinary stuff. This is out of the ordinary. I'm doing this because Quite honestly, I have never seen it. I have never seen an old school 871 on a, kind of a modern engine, if you will. So the blowers were used initially to blow the exhaust out of the combustion chamber, out of the cylinder, right? Then people started retrofitting them, putting them onto engines and realized, hey, I'm getting boost out of this. The big advantage of them, you get boost right away. You don't get a lot of boost, but you get it right away. So it, it improves the bottom end snap, right? So this time around, yeah, we're going to keep powering on and try to make it happen as fast as possible. I can't wait. Ooh, ah. Whew, okay, so what's the first thing? The first thing is I need to find a way to mount this onto there, obviously. This one here, as I know a few of you are gonna pick up already, is not the ones you buy from the store. So the ones you buy from the store have a different casing on them, and then they actually have a flat spot and then bolting holes, right? This one is one that came directly off of an engine. Uh, it's in good shape, albeit dirty, but it's in good shape. And I'm going to modify this case a little bit. Now, I don't want to weld a whole pile of stuff on the side because the case is going to warp on me, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be least invasive as possible and I'm going to weld in little blocks. I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about here. Little blocks and then I'm going to drill and tap into them to put a plate onto here and then the plate is going to permanently stay on here. This plate is then going to mate to the part that we're going to machine, or sorry, the part that we're going to fabricate onto the engine. So, yeah, we'll get cracking. I'll show you what I'm talking about quick though. Always a good place to take a little break next to the diamond plate. Future me here. Just want to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button. That stuff is super appreciated. So this is the underside of it. And initially they would bolt in through here, kind of at a weird angle. I don't really like the system. So I'm going to weld in little bits of aluminum into here. And then afterwards, put two bolts for every one. Put one bolt here, one here, one there, one there. Maybe one in the middle. Not sure yet. We'll see all that seals. But yes, basically we're going to screw into these ones. And then our plate's going to overhang a little bit. And then we're going to have holes drilled through all that. And that's what's going to mount the two of them together. So I'll get those tabs cut up and we'll start welding.
Okay, so next morning here. Turned out pretty good. None of them actually cracked, which is good. I was kind of worried about that. Cast loom was kind of weird. Now, just in case you guys, or when you guys are going to ask, I guess, I welded them on the outside here to not warp the case. Because if I would have put them in here, this is basically right inside the case, right? This is as well, but there is like this much room and we only took up about this much, right? So there's this much metal at the bottom. Anyways, long story short, I feel this will deform the case less, basically. Now, I'm gonna see how much, how many bolts I can get and all this stuff. I might end up throwing a little slug just in here, just to throw another bolt down into here. But uh, yeah, to, for starters, we're gonna try to clean this up, see exactly where we are, and we'll take it from there. All right, so that lasted quite a number on me first and then did a number on this thing. The important part is that this surface here is shiny, which means that this is the first part that'll touch, which translates into this is gonna hit the gasket and seal first. So the front ends, they're pretty proud. Well, not anymore, actually I knocked them down, but they were pretty proud because they were the first part that actually had contact, right? These sides here, not too worried about that as long as this touches, to be completely honest with you. This is where I'm going to put the bolts into, right? So, eh, whatever. Um, yeah. Next little bit, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a template of this. Then I'm going to punch out exactly where I want all my bolt holes to go. And, whew, try to cut a sheet of uh, half-inch aluminum. That's going to that's gonna be rough. That's going to be really rough. Hmm, a little bit of a change of plans here. So I'm looking at the work that's gonna be involved in trying to cut two plates and get them to match and all this stuff. So I came up with something else instead. I'm gonna cut one plate. That one plate is gonna be the part that stays stationary on the engine. And then on the blower, so the, the holes that we just drilled, I'm gonna put studs in there instead. Stud, I don't know why I didn't think about that in the first place. So the studs are going to locate into that plate, which is going to be welded onto the engine. And then we're going to have the gasket in between there. So it's a lot less moving parts. And then that way, honestly, the biggest reason is I was thinking the blower, a gasket, my first plate, a gasket, the sec uh, it became too many parts, right? So this way here, I'm going to eliminate one possible leak and, uh, it, it kind of gives me the same result. The only problem I'm going to have with that is I'm going to have to make sure that the plate after it's welded is nice and straight. So I'm going to have to go ahead and plane out, um, plane out the intake, basically, just like you've seen me do before with that sheet of glass. Sheet of glass. Why, why do I use a sheet of glass? A sheet of glass is the cheapest, straightest, flattest thing that is readily available. So you can get 
something called a surface plate. Surface plates are kind of expensive a bit though, so I try to stay away from, bah, not try to stay away, I can't afford it, plain and simple. I would love a surface plate, I'd do all my measurements. Tangent, doesn't matter. So by using the piece of glass, I glue on or I stick on sandpaper, right? And then when you run your piece, put a little bit of cloth underneath so the glass doesn't tend to do this. Uh, when you run the piece across it, then afterwards it'll force it, basically it'll sand it completely straight. So I use that technique quite a bit. Uh, my father taught, taught this to me, I don't know, 30 something years ago, like I can't remember. But uh, it's always worked for me, it's never let me down, and for the level of accuracy and precision that I have to achieve, it works fine. Anyways, enough said, let's keep going on this. All right, pardon the noise here. A little bit on preparation. So what I'm gonna do here is basically prep the surface here and you don't want any of this oxide nonsense. So use a stainless steel brush, stainless steel, it has to be. And then we're gonna clean our whole perimeter here. And then we'll get to the next step. You'll see that in a sec. So what we have here is the part that basically that we just cleaned up on the table, right? I went ahead and I measured, basically I hung the blower on top of the engine and I just kind of measured roughly what I needed for parts to be able to mount onto the intake. So that's what these two parts are. That's where they come in play. My plan for now is I'm just going to tack them in place, right? Like a good solid tack, like perfectly on the ends. And uh, having them on the ends like that is going to allow me to be able to just kind of move it a bit, right? I'm going to add just a smidge of gap in there because if you put stuff too tight, uh, when you try to move it, pries against the weld, ends up snapping it. So kind of useless on that front. So we're going to tack the two in there. Uh, I'm talking. Let's just do it. All right, so I got her to a state where I'm kind of happy with it. I just put it back in. Sandblasting didn't work too well, so I ended up hitting it with the grinder. Then I came back over it with the stainless steel wheel, try to take all the rest of the contaminants off, right? Um, I had to take this entire side off, unfortunately. But you know what? Does it matter? In the grand scheme of things, not really. So now what we're going to do is we're going to level the whole assembly, the engine, this way and this way and then once that's done we're going to have a reference when we put our part onto it we put our part level both ways again and then we can give it our first tack so let's try to level this thing okay so i could only do one of the planes at a time so right now the engine's level this way and i made a center line in our piece here so we can kind of help ourselves line it up like this right so the first thing i want to do is since the engine's level this way I want to level this piece that way. Then afterwards we can play the whole, let's do this game thing, right? But for starters, we definitely need to try to line this. I think what I'll do just to make it simpler, I'll use my square and then I'm gonna go ahead and just eyeball it to the center of the uh, intake of the plenum. And I gotta call that close enough for now. So we're gonna go ahead and just put a tack in the back corners, this thing naturally tilts forward, so it's leaving a bit of a gap there, so I can fill in that little gap and at least have some wiggle room afterwards. Cool. All right, got the welder and put some tacks in there.
that's going to be it for this one. Whew, I melted my torch. Okay, sorry, I thought something was moving there. I melted my torch trying to do this stuff. Uh, whew, welding half inch aluminum, no fun, no fun. I hope you guys like the amount of progress that we've done on this. Uh, I've been going mad dash here. I kind of actually skipped doing last Monday. I'm going to try to release this one on Friday this time around and uh, just try to get enough content for you guys. This is bolted on. The intake is on there. I might just add a couple little gussets in the back because gussets are strong. We all know that. And since all the weight's going to be pulling on the front because of the belts, you want a bit more strength where it's going to try to lift, right? So. Maybe just add something back there. Not quite sure what I'll do yet. I'll probably just do it off camera. Next time on this, we're going to do the front drive here because we have to drive this thing, right? So, not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'll manage something. I always do. We'll put some skidoo parts on there or uh, something, something. <laughs> Hope you like this one. Make sure if you do to leave a little comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. It helps you tremendously. You have no idea. Your man Porter signing out. We'll see you on the next one.